welcome friends once again in another episode of trigonometric ratios uh, in this video uh, we are going to learn about the trigonometric ratios where we are just getting one ratio and we have to find out the other five ratios right let's read the question question is saying if cos alpha equals to 8 upon 17 find all other five trigonometric ratios okay so we all know that uh, this trigonometry only deals in uh, rectangle uh, means the right angle triangle so let first let's first draw a, a rectangle uh, means a right angle triangle okay so I draw a right angle triangle okay now given right what is given that's cos alpha we also uh, say it as base upon hypotenuse that's hypotenuse right we all know that cos uh, is the ratio of base and the hypotenuse that is b upon h is 8 upon 17 so uh, we can give uh, this triangle any uh, any of the angle uh, this is 90 degree then any of this either this or this as alpha so I'm just giving this the name alpha right if this is alpha so the side in which the angle base right angle is based the side in which the angle is seated this seat is the base right so base is the 8 this is 8 right this size is 8 and hypotenuse is the longest part the longest part is called the hypotenuse so this is the hypotenuse which is 8 centimeter right this is uh, this is 17 centimeter hypotenuse is 17 centimeter right so this is 17 centimeter let me give this name a b c right so in this triangle so now we have to find out the perpendicular this is the perpendicular just opposite to this is the perpendicular right so how can we find out this do you have an, any idea yeah yeah you're saying right exactly you're right now we have to use the Pythagoras theorem exactly right you know uh, Pythagoras theorem says in any right angle triangle uh, if this is hypotenuse this is perpendicular and this is base then always square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the perpendic uh, square of the perpendicular and the square of the base this is called the Pythagoras theorem right so we have to use this Pythagoras theorem, of, uh, theorem over here so in right angle so in uh, right triangle ABC ABC what we have to do now applying Pythagoras theorem right so applying Pythagoras theorem applying Pythagoras Pythagoras theorem okay this theorem we get h square equals to p square plus b square here see h is given p is given sorry b is given but p is not given so I am taking this p or I am taking this p square over here and this h square minus b square see this is in plus so it will go like this side in minus form right so this is moving this is moving this side right and it is forming negative uh, so or further p square is equals to h square that's 17 square 17 square minus b square that is 8 square right or p square it's 17 of a square so let me do twice this 17 multiply 17 17 7 is a 49 so 9 carry over 4 7 1 is a 7 and 7 plus 4 that's 49 Oh, sorry 7 plus 4 that's 11 right <laughs> 7 plus 4 that's 11 and this 17 right so let me add this it becomes now 9 7 plus 1 8 and this 1 plus 1 this 2 8 9 so it is 2 8 9 minus 8 8 is 64 we all know right if we multiply 8 by 8 we'll get 64 we everybody know so 64 so let me do in another step so p square now I have to subtract uh, 64 from the 289 right so let's subtract 289 minus 64 
right? So 9 minus 4, that's 5. 8 minus 6, that's 2. And this 2, 2, 2, 5. That is 2, 2, 5, right? Again, what we have to do? We have to make it in the square form to make this, right? Or we can do also like this. Mm, simply p square equals to 2 2 5 right sorry uh, uh, let me do like this it will be more easier for you simply to uh, remove this square I'm just making a root over this right I'm just making a root over this right and we know this all so to uh, remove this square I just put a root over here so now I have to find out the root of the 225 right so to find out the root of 225 I'm just giving 5 uh, multiplying this by 5 see 5 uh, simply uh, it, it, I think it's go by 13 so say 3 so 3 7 ja 21 and there is a 1 still so 1 5 15 so again 5 ja 15 again I'm the giving I'm just taking out the the uh, you can say prime factors of this prime factorization I'm doing this yeah and again 3 25 ja again 5 5 ja so there is a pair of this and this so r p equals to that's the pair of that's 3 square it's 2 times the 3 and 5 square 5 square so now I can bring this 3 and 5 here so 3 multiply 5 that is 15 right so how much we got perpendicular equals to 15 right so now we got everything perpendicular we get base perpendicular and height everything now it's how much it's 15 right so we can easily find out all the trigonometric ratios now right so let's find out one by one that's first one is sine theta sine alpha sine alpha what is the sine alpha first one is sine alpha is the p upon h right that's p upon h so equals to what's the p p is the 15 here right perpendicular is the 15 just this opposite is the perpendicular right so p is 15 upon h h is the 17 right we got the 17 another is uh, let me do this with another color right another is sine cos happen right and now is tan tan alpha and we know the tan alpha is the p upon b means p to the ratio b so what is the value of p again here p is the 15 and base is the 8 right so perpendicular upon base that's tan alpha now third one is cot alpha right cot alpha all we know it's just opposite of the uh, tan alpha that's b upon p right b upon p uh, we can do like this capital b okay it's capital b so value of b just opposite to it will be 8 upon 15 right and the fourth one is the sec alpha what is the sec alpha we know yeah it's just opposite of the cos alpha that's hypotenuse upon base hypotenuse upon base so what's the hypotenuse that's 17 right it's 17 upon base what is the base that's 8 right this opposite of this and now the fifth one and the last one that is cosec cosec alpha and we know it is just opposite of sine alpha right so p upon h and here will be h upon p right so it is h is 17 as we know here right h is 17 and p is 15 P is 15 like this we can calculate the values uh, uh, of the trigonometric ratio if we are given only one ratio right if we have given uh, we got one ratio then we can easily get the rest of the five right so like this you can do the practice and for the practice series you can go to our website uh, there I have uh, there we have submitted lots of uh, practice series are there so you can get lots of question over there and do practice in trigonometric ratios thank you for listening okay we'll be soon meeting in another video thank you